Hi everybody, welcome to YS Kong Driving Channel and what we have here today is the BMW M2 and gosh, I wish they didn't show me a car in blue I'm a sucker for blue cars Alright, <laughs> this car is actually uh, inspired by the BMW 2002 Turbo which was uh, launched in 1973 and we actually saw it here in 1974 and 75 I think uh, only two units ever came in but uh, this car is actually a bit bigger than what it used to be and in fact uh, if you look at the uh, wheelbase this uh, M M2 series has a 2690mm uh, wheelbase which is actually 10mm shorter than the E36 yeah so to be fair this car is actually closer to the E36 in size than the 202 but of course uh, they wanted to bring in the legacy or heritage of the turbo so they used the 202 but still this is the smallest of the BMW M cars okay just for reference uh, a wheelbase of 2700mm is the standard uh, everywhere for a C-class saloon of course they have moved now to about 2.8 but uh, most of the Japanese cars in the C segment are running 2.7 meter wheelbases. This wheelbase of 2690 is just a mite shorter than that, but it doesn't look so long because the wheels are so big, you know, and so you see less meat in between the two wheels. But these are 19 inch wheels and they are really, really good wheels. So what they've done is they've put in a 3 litre engine uh, that is a six, six cylinder straight six, yeah? And the 3 litre engine has got all of 410 horsepower and 550 newton metres of torque. Now that's a lot of power for any car. And uh, if you look at this one, look at it man, 19 inch wheels and humongous brakes. These are brakes good enough for a race car and in fact this is the BMW M2 competition it is almost ready for track and uh, look at the size of those brakes okay those are huge huge calipers it's a uh, four pot yeah and uh, then look at the size of those discs and they're drilled to give better stopping and cooling Okay, these 19 inch wheels is 24555RZR19. Yeah, okay. It's uh, 24535ZR19, I think. So that's 19 inch wheels, a lot of wheel, very little bit of rubber. Okay, these are the rear wheels and they are staggered rims. So the back rims are wider and wheels are wider. This is 26535. ZR19 Michelin Supersport tires. So the rear tires are 30 mm wider. So that's a huge wheel, yeah. And the rear brakes are as big as the front. Okay, normally the rear brakes are a bit smaller. So here you have uh, this that's quite big, but the caliper is smaller. So caliper is smaller but it's still a two pot and I suspect why they want this is because of the traction control system and the stability control system because they use brakes a lot okay uh, let's have a look at the engine yeah and we're going to open the bonnet it says pull two times it says two times all right there's the double lock on the on the bonnet and let's take a quick look at it Okay, this is the six-cylinder, three-liter engine from BMW and uh, it runs a turbocharger and this one looks like the intercooler, right? So the turbocharger is somewhere inside there and you can't see it. Now, BMW is very proud about this little bar. It's supposed to improve the handling by strengthening the chassis and it's made of carbon fiber. And for all the good that it does, it only adds one and a half kilos to the weight of the car. Okay, so here's the engine. 
410 horsepower, 550 newton meters of torque. And it is one monster of a car. You can't see very much because there's all engine cover and it's very, very compact. But anyway, just to let you know, there are many parts from the M3 that are here. And that means the things like the front suspension arms and the rear diff carrier and rear suspension arms all come from the M3. So these are proven stuff. Okay, here's how you see the, that is an M2 and their special mirrors and it seems this car did 7 minutes and 45 seconds or something like that on the Nürburgring Okay The inside uh, is nothing much to shout about but uh, it has all the basics, yeah? You have uh, seat controls Okay And this one is mechanical but this one allows you to lengthen the the tie support, yeah? And then you have, of course, memory for two and you have forward, aft and then this, the, this, this one adjusts the rake of the seat and this one moves the seat forward and back and this would be about the normal sitting position for a person like me and let's look at the back yeah, this is uh, technically a four-seater but it's more like a two plus two and usually for cars like this, they don't care so much about the rear passenger, yeah? Okay, there are two headrests and the seats look pretty spartan. <laughs> but having said that, this one is a... This seat has got nice uh, contours and it's a bucket. So you can use this if you, are, if you want to go have weekend fun. But uh, for racing, you probably need you can get by with a much lighter seat, yeah, to make the car lighter and of course, uh, competition seats are fixed usually. Okay, so this car is good for motorsport because it's got a handbrake that is like normal and this is the dual clutch transmission that has a 7-speed gearbox. Alright, so... Uh, I am told that there is a manual transmission available and the manual will probably be 6-speed law. Okay, and looking at the steering, it's pretty nice and uh, it's a round steering for a change. And this is the normal size which is quite good and here are the hand grips for you to put your hand and of course the pedal shifters in the normal position, minus here and plus here. Okay, plus on the right and minus on the left so that is the position we can't start the car because I don't have the key but uh, they, they have a push button start you can see there is the red button and uh, there is a screen that gives you place your in infotainment and all but uh, the instrumentation is uh, analog and it lights up when you turn the ignition key on all right, let's look at the okay on the side here. There's this little bit of touch that makes it different. It's the M2 competition, and of course, you would have realized by now it's a two door coupe. Now, two door coupes are stronger in terms of construction, and this is the back part of the car. It's not so different from the old M2, slight, slight changes here and there. But the main thing that we are looking at is the engine, which has a bit more power than the previous one. There are four exhaust outlets. I don't know how they do it, but it's six cylinder and there are four outlets. Okay. And here's the boot. Okay, the boot is a bit on the small side, but you can carry maybe two golf bags, yeah? And uh, you can carry one large suitcase and maybe a smaller one. And of course, to give it a bit of versatility, the rear seats will flip. Yeah, you can release it from here, but you've got to push the seat down. So let's have a look at how the rear seat looks. Okay, here's an easy way of opening and you've got to pull that seat down. Okay, that's the rear that has the 
seat folded down and you can carry more stuff. And okay, this button is for the rear passenger in case you get trapped inside the car, this, the driver has gone away. You can use this to slide the seat back and forth. So pretty neat. All right, so uh, this car is not about accessories or about uh, features to make it more user friendly or what. You don't want, you don't really want to know if there's a USB port. I'm sure there is, lah. You know, you don't really want to know what the sound system is like, but you want to know that there is a special sports exhaust and there's a button that allows you to change uh, exhaust note yeah and because it's about the noise not about the quiet so this car handles very well we have a video of us driving the car and uh, let's sit in the driver's seat and see what you get okay i'm going to slide the seat back a bit and we are sitting in the driver's seat so Yep, the seat is slightly off center from the from the steering wheel, and uh, well, nobody's perfect. But uh, here's the console, and here's the interesting thing: they have M1 and M2. Now, M1 and M2 allows you to tune. When you go to M1, you can tune the suspension, you can tune the steering and the engine performance. Yeah, you can set. There are three modes. They have uh, comfort, sport, uh, comfort, sport, and sport plus. So you can choose. Okay, for each of the three driving modes, there are three different settings you can do for engine, uh, suspension, and also for the steering. Okay, so in sport plus you get heavier steering, and in sport a bit lighter, and in comfort very very light steering. Okay, so. Uh, looking at the dashboard, it's pretty decent. It's not like Spartan or what, but this actually actually is hard plastic, <laughs> but not so hard. Lah. It's uh, textured and well, for 626,000, some people might complain, but actually, no. This car, if you want a more uh, Changge car, I go and buy, uh, say, maybe a standard 5 series or 3 series. It's probably more luxurious than this, okay? So this car is all about performance and not about looks. But having said that, it looks pretty decent, yeah? It looks pretty decent. So there isn't even a sunroof, okay? Because, uh, well, sunroofs actually weaken the structure. So that's about it. Uh, you can see more about, our, about this car in our other videos where we actually drive it. So if you have 626,800 to spare, Come and have a look at this one. Alright, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.